Cloud storage has come a long way in the recent years, with companies offering their cloud storage services to the public, including noteworthy companies such as Google, Amazon, Microsoft, Dropbox, and many more. They are quick and they work well for the most part, but storage is always an issue for me, and I want to be able to have lots of storage and not have to pay anything, and in this video, I'm going to show you how. Of course it would be silly to assume there's a company offering this type of service, but there is a company offering a way to self-host your own cloud service for free, so technically letting you have unlimited storage for no monthly fee. They are called Nextcloud and they offer industry leading on-premise file sync and online collaboration technology. They also have paid over $8,500 in bug bounties to ensure their product is secure. They strongly believe in hosting your own cloud storage rather than allowing other companies to do it for you. They have a lengthy blog title called The Issue with Public Cloud and you can read that in the description below. The general gist of the blog is the privacy and security concerns of public cloud, such as who can access your data, single points of failure, not knowing where your data is, and essentially just being in control of your own data. Nextcloud was created by the original owner of OwnCloud until he forked it into Nextcloud, and a lot of the staff that used to work on OwnCloud now work on Nextcloud. The reason this happened isn't known explicitly, but apparently it is due to a cultural mismatch and thus Nextcloud was born. Now I should express that I am not sponsored by Nextcloud and they have not asked me to make this video, I'm simply making it because I like the product and this is what I use to manage my cloud storage. As a systems administrator, I find these kind of projects fun, but remember that you should take the proper precautions if you are self-hosting a cloud storage system, including your backups as once the data is gone, it's gone. Nextcloud is available on Linux and is easy to set up. In this video I'll be using Ubuntu Server 18.04.2 long-term support on Hyper-V. But you can use whichever Linux version you like and whichever hypervisor you like. I'm just using these as I am comfortable with both. I'll leave links to Ubuntu and Nextcloud in the description. So to start with we're going to create myself a new virtual machine in Hyper-V on my home server. It doesn't need to be extremely powerful and as you can see I've only allocated it with 2 gigs of RAM and 2 processors. But the beauty of running it in virtual is we can just make changes to this if we like. I'm also giving it 1.5 terabytes of storage as I want to have as much as possible and this will be where I'm keeping all my important files. One thing to note here is if you are using Hyper-V like me, make sure you choose a generation 2 virtual machine and change secure boot from Microsoft Windows to Microsoft UFI Certificate Authority or else the machine will not boot. Installation for Ubuntu server is pretty simple and just involves choosing the systems language, time zone, network configuration, disk partitions, user accounts and then naming the server. When the option is given to install OpenSSH, I also recommend that you do so. The installation will then start and it can take anywhere between 5 minutes to 20 minutes to complete. Once it's installed and rebooted into the operating system, I'm going to log in and update the server using sudo apt-get update followed by sudo apt-get upgrade. This process can also
any cloud provider, you can create a folder and also choose what will be.